Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve. I'm Mark. And this is Mookie, Steve, and Mark. Yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. Yes, nice to see you. Happy, happy, happy Friday. Friday. Yes, <sighs> T-G-I-F. This week for me went fast, actually. It did. It went fast. I can't nail down any big specific thing I did. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. marks the week. But it went quick. Hmm. The yeah, day, you know, went quick. thinking back on it, it did. It was quick. It um, was a busy week. I will say that. I, well, I mean, I was quite busy this week. Yeah. Um, and then I had a little rough day there. Thursday, I was kind of down. Yeah, you or were Tuesday spot. was kind of down for the count, but bounced back real quick. Mm -hmm. But work was real busy. Home stuff was real busy. So that would make sense why it went fast. Probably, yeah. You know, but the important thing is, it's the weekend. It is the weekend. <laughs> Can sleep in tomorrow. Yes, and we have a great show tonight. Oh my gosh. Well, we have a lot to do tonight. Well, a few things here. Well, we're, we're going to have some chit-chat, get caught mm -hmm. up with everybody. We're going to check in on our resolutions and goals. Mm -hmm. We have a 2022 reboot, we and do. we even have a giveaway winner to announce. We do, we do. A <laughs> lot to get to. We do. Well, you know, chit-chat is just like, you know. Let's just catch an up. Chit-chat. Are you under <laughs> ice? Are you? Are, are you, you under weather of some sort? It is tundra. We are. Outside. We are. It got all slushy during the day. We didn't get two feet of snow. No, we didn't. We, got, we did get the ice. We got ice and we got a tiny bit of slush. Yeah. So yeah. The side roads are destroyed. They're frozen yeah, they over. And everything that th sort of thawed during the day now is refreezing because the temperature's going down to like 12 yeah. or something. It's, very better. it's so, cold out. This morning I went out and uh, every, like everything had like a cover of ice on it like everything did you know yeah. and i had uh uh you may remember because i did it as a project i i hung curtains up on the porch outside just sheer curtains mm -hmm. and so i closed them to kind of i don't know close in the porch a little bit because the ice was blowing in you know yeah. like it was like rain but it was ice you know what i mean and, yeah and uh, so i closed it and 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 all that and it worked there you go the, the porch is nice and like you know I don't know. There's no ice on it. There's no snow on it. Oscar's mm -hmm. all happy because sometimes it'll blow in and it'll blow on his hut. Yeah. Now his hut is all covered. Yeah. But then he comes out and comes up on top. And he gets cool you know? paws yeah. and stuff. So and he, he does. Just, he goes like this. He'll go, you know? like, get one off and then these two off to warm <laughs> him up. So we just keep him in his yeah. little hut. But, he, um, but now that it doesn't come on his hut, he doesn't do that. So that's nice. So I'm, right. I'm really glad that worked out. Because I always think about that, you know, and it cuts down on wind too. Yeah, I didn't think of that one. It does, but, but but yeah, we're covered in ice. So I hope I I I've been seeing it on the news. And if you're safely. affected by it, I hope everybody's safe and hopefully you didn't lose your power. Power and, being the big one. It's yeah. cold and it's an it's a big storm. It's places people aren't used to being cold. Right. Like remember yeah. Texas that last time? I remember. The whole state went down. I know. That was crazy. Poor Texas. Like how does. How does that happen, right? Like, well, I I think they don't. There's something about Texas doesn't collaborate with the huge power grids that are are the rest of us. Oh yeah, they yeah. they do their own thing. Mm -hmm. So they did their own thing. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they were. Oh, I have something funny to tell you all. Okay, I have it right here. I have something funny. Okay. Well, you gave it to me because you found it first. Well, yeah. But this was this was this was a little joke that was sent in by a viewer. Mm -hmm. So we have to share it with a you. A little viewer. A little viewer. It was sent in. It was sent in by. I can't even see it. Oh my gosh. Okay. It was sent in by Heather R and her daughter. Mm -hmm. So here it goes. All right. So, what do you call two birds in love? What? You know? I forgot. You forgot? Yeah. <laughs> a tweet heart. <laughs> I love it. That's cute. That is cute. That's Thank you cute. for that. That's awesome. Thanks for the giggle. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So, what are we going to talk about? Resolutions and goals? First? Resolutions and goals. We'll do a little check-in Do you want here. to check-in first? Because mine bleeds into the rest of the video. Oh, okay. So do you want me to? Yeah. Are you All right, I'll to? check in real quick, because I didn't have, you know, mine are like kind of ongoing, gradual, you know, little things, but yeah. I have been keeping track, and I actually have been doing pretty well. So to recap, my goal was to get down, uh, I'm trying to limit my smoking. The ultimate goal is to get down to one pack of cigarettes a day. Mm -hmm. I was smoking more than two a day, and I didn't realize that, but anyway. So the first part of my goal was to get down to two packs mm -hmm. for two weeks. Right? Like, 
Mm -hmm. That shouldn't be hard. And it wasn't. I did it since our last check-in. Two packs a day or less. Mm -hmm. I refused. I refused to smoke another cigarette after I got (laughs) past that two. I did. And there was actually only one day that I was like, oh, man, I want, you know, want another smoke. So I'm on uh, uh, two packs. And then I can do that through this next week. Mm -hmm. You know. Or less, you know, yeah. just not more. And then the week following, I go down to one and a half packs mm-hmm. for two weeks. So the ultimate goal is one pack. So you we'll are the save. king of titration. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's pretty much my business. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what we do at work whenever people yeah. are like, you know, coming off of drugs or within a yeah. week, we, you know, we titrate you down. Bring you down that's slow. Really, um, you know, it, it works well for me. Losing weight the same way. When yeah. I do it slowly, it's better. And then another goal was to uh, was about my weight, to lose weight. So I did. I reduced my caloric intake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I reduced my Nutrigrain bars to one a night, which I did. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, stuck to an 1,800-calorie diet. And I did every day but one day. One mm-hmm. day I went over. Yeah. And it was by mistake, actually. Mm-hmm. Sure, Jan. Mm-hmm. Well, I- in all honesty, it was. I figured <laughs> after the fact, I'm like, oh, geez. You couldn't tell looking yeah. at it that it was high calorie? What was it? Well, I was in a rush. It was the night I wasn't feeling well. Mm-hmm. Well, it was the next day because I felt better the next day. And we were, for some reason, it was so late at night. And I'm like, just grabbing everything and put it. What I forgot to include was our charcuterie platter. Uh, oh, so yeah. So I didn't include that, it that, into that the plate caloric. Of meat and cheese. Meat, cheese. <laughs> Hummus. Crackers. Cracker. Yeah, that. You know, yeah. I didn't uh, allot that in for that. But but other than that, nope. I did did very well. I have not gained weight. Mm-hmm. I lost three pounds, but I don't know if that you can. Mm-hmm. It has been steady for two days. I lost. I was three pounds. So I'm thinking I am starting to lose. So, mm-hmm. But I'll know much better next week. The second week for me, I can tell. You know when how that goes. So yes, I've improved my uh, eating. You know, mm-hmm. I've been eating more fresh. I've been eating fruits, y'all. Fresh fruits. Mm-hmm. Thanks to the charcuterie platter. Yeah, you'll eat grapes if it's got salami on. Ah, uh, yep. And then the grape is my the applesauce. Though. I do eat applesauce. You eat applesauce. Too, applesauce. So I'm not yeah. a huge fresh fruit fan. I don't hate it, but I just need to eat more of it. So I have mm-hmm. been doing that. Uh, a lot less processed food. I've been cooking. I've been making it a point to cook at least twice a week, and I've done There's it. There's food in there now. No, I made a ham. In the Instant Pot? In the Instant Pot. So good. Oh, yes. Ham, and I made smashed potatoes mm-hmm. and gravy. I'm not sure what we're going to have for a vegetable, but... You know, we could have a salad. We have a we have lettuce in there. We have lettuce. We got stuff. But anyway, yeah, I cooked that today. And what else? I made some soup. You made uh, potato soup this week. Yeah, potato soup. And then there was something at the end of the week last week. Did you make sauce? So- we made sauce. We made oh, sauce. big thing of sauce with oh meatballs and we sausage still, in it. I think we just gave away the last. I ate the last of it. Mm-hmm. We gave away we one And we still had more left. left. I'm stressed. But, <laughs> um, you know, it's been really nice because it's kind of gotten away from me. Yeah, you know, and I do enjoy to cook. I I like to do it, so um, that's been nice. So. That's good. Yeah. So that that's my little uh, check in. <laughs>uh, so like, well, how about you? How are you doing? I've been doing okay. Yes. I've been doing okay. My two goals: mental health. Let's let's be sane, and I want to kind of come down on some of my meds, and then wait. Oh, wait. So mental health, basically my goal per my mental health provider is stabilize. So don't go off the deep end and don't sink. These are the big goals that we have. Um, the way I'm supposed to be going about that is take all my medicine as directed. Um, you know, obviously don't skip any days. Don't skip any doses. Don't make any changes without talking to the doctor. That's good advice for anybody, by the way. It is. <laughs> it's anybody. Good point. I know it a lot is. of people that play doctor and then they wonder why they're sick. I know the doctor says this, but I think. Why do I need to take three antibiotics a day? I'm taking one. Your opinion is valuable to me, but your medical opinion isn't worth <laughs> right, nothing. I know, I, know. Um, I should be a bioprofessional. So the continued trying to get stable, stay stable, which means I have to be on my point for all points of self-care. That means no more than one cup of coffee a day. Mm-hmm. That means trying to sleep through the night if possible. Um, that means healthier eating because mm-hmm. if i binge before bed 
I wake up feeling like crap. And it yeah. really sets the tone until the next evening. Yeah, I know. It really it does. does. It matters more than it should. I sell leftover eating disorder stuff to sweep up. Um, not body image so much, but like those thinking games that go with it. So working through those kinks as well. Mm -hmm. They were the first ones I had. The eating disorder stuff came way before addiction, way before the vibe, all of it. So yeah, that's right. It was yeah, the first to arrive and it is the last to get out like a stubborn house guest. <laughs> Call it over! So, <laughs> so that's where we are with that. I'm just maintaining oh. um, on the area of my mental health. Hasn't been bad, hasn't been good. It's been same. Yeah. It's been okay. Okay, well, I mean, that's good because it didn't, it didn't go backwards, you know? No, I didn't set back. Right, right. No. Right. So, <gasps> oh, and this might be a perfect segue for our little... A reboot. For our reboot. And and you reboot. did it this time. I did. Ooh. I did a reboot. We have a 2022 reboot just for you. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, everyone. Time for another 2022 reboot. So as you know, one of my resolutions has been about managing my mental health. And one of the tools that I found most helpful on my entire, if you can call it my mental health journey, I'd swear it was start in utero, um, was keeping a mood chart. It was something I picked up on late, um, late in my uh, addiction and illness and early into my uh, recovery. It was actually a very, very helpful tool. So what is a mood chart? Well, a mood chart takes together all the factors of a person's day-to-day -day life and tries to track them and create a visual tool from them. So a mood chart would track things like, um, how's your mood today? I happen to have bipolar disorder, so I track two moods per day, morning and night, or highest and lowest, depending on how I was doing that day. Um, the mood tracker I'm showing here and the one that I prefer um, tracks the number of medications I take during the day and did I take them my level of anxiety and or irritability uh, on a scale from zero to three, zero to five, pick what works. Uh, sleep, how many hours of sleep am I getting at night? And is that something that's enough or recommended? Or is it getting less or is it becoming more? Um, all the other things that are important to it. If I'm adding any goals to it, check my weight a couple times a month and put that on there. Not every day, that's not good for Steve. If it's good for you, it's good for you, but it's not good for Steve to do that. So again, they can be personalized as well if there's different symptoms you're trying to track um, and there's different things you're trying to look for patterns within, which is the first big part of mood charting, which is pattern recognition. So this gives us a chance to see what our patterns are. I know when I was going to um, some facilities in my early recovery, I was seeing a psychiatrist maybe every three months. Depends on who your insurance is and where you live. Uh, every three months was a hard time to remember how much stuff I did and how much stuff happened between my first visit to the doctor and the next. Mood charting was a great way for me to have um, actual evidence, empirical evidence to show the doctor. So if I say, I've been anxious lately, was lately a week? Is it two weeks? I can go in with my charts and say, I was anxious from January 31st to all up until this date. I have very specific self-reporting that I can do to hopefully collaborate with the provider. Ideally, that's how it goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But ideally, I have this info about myself, which I've been tracking, and it will help move the direction of my treatment a little bit. Because the bulk of my treatment is spent not in the doctor's office. That's like a few hours a year. The rest of my life is out here with everybody else. So, uh, preemptive strikes. Mood charts are good for that too. How are things looking? If I've got my patterns down and my pattern recognition, and let's say I've been keeping a chart for a few months and all of a sudden my sleep is getting less and less and less. I'm getting less and less per night. And the anxiety is going up and up and up. And I'm charting this. I'm not just, you know, imagining. I'm every day taking a look at myself, taking just a few minutes, boom, boom, boom. Doesn't take much time at all to just fill out a few pieces of information. It looks daunting because it's a big freaking chart. But if you do it every day, just that little bit, it's it's no big deal. It's really no big deal. If you're, it takes less time to tie than to tie your shoes. You know, if you're doing it too long, you're doing it the wrong way. Um, last part, self awareness. Self awareness is a big piece of it. I like to feel like I'm in control of my mental health concerns and the things that go around them. And having some self awareness as to this is where I stand. This is where I was coming from. I'm on an up cycle, down cycle. I'm in a period of maintaining. Right now, my goal is a period of maintaining to go into my resolution to change my medications and mix that up too. 
So hopefully in the interest of better collaboration, knowing how I'm doing, knowing where I'm at with my health, um, knowing what's coming up based on past results, it's just all around a great tool that I found to use for myself, and I would definitely recommend it for other folks in recovery. We'll put some links in Facebook and in the description below, so give it a try if you think it might help. I definitely recommend it for those like myself. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yeah, that, that was yeah. good. And you know what? Those mood charts, I when I That's first got sober and moved here, you actually introduced me to that, yeah. to the mood chart. And it really helped. At first, I was like, nah, I ain't doing this. All these uh -uh. like touchy-feely charts and lists, I know they sound stupid. I know they sound like the thing they give you in the handouts yes, before you leave the do. doctor's they office. They that way. But they help. They do. They help. They help. They do. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll post that to Facebook along with some links for other ones that you can check out and you can download it, print it yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that on Facebook tomorrow. And uh, another tool that you introduced me to, again, one of those ones that I thought was so stupid. The pill, pill box. boxes. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. I so know. this helped in so Sponsored many Sponsored by GlaxoSmithKline. <laughs> right? Smokey Stephen Mark is an affiliate I don't of Pfizer. Know what the, this is mine. <laughs> so if you didn't know, you know now. This is what I take. I take all mine <sighs> one at a day, so I have the single one. But yeah. You have others spread out. So. I do. Well, I don't have AM, PM, but I just have enough for, for two weeks here, you know. Mm. And it helps so much. It helps, like, it helps me. It, it helps with forgetting to take your medications. Mm -hmm. It helps with forgetting to take a certain medication. Yeah. And that period of the time where you're like, oh, I got to get my pills together. Oh, God, it takes forever to do it. It takes 30 seconds. It takes like an extra 30 it seconds to do it. anxiety or something. Yeah. You know, it does. With this already made up, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. Mm -mm. It keeps me on track. Um, and I don't even have to think about when to take my medication. And I know if I need to refill two weeks ahead. Yeah. Because if I divvy out Absolutely. my pills and I find out at a week I'm out, yeah. I don't find out that day I have oh, no more yeah. or two days. I find out seven days ahead if I need to refill. I highly so, recommend this little tip. Okay. It's and look, they have these big jumbo ones too. Yeah. In case your heart is seen. <laughs> so. so cool. So you had another goal. My other goal is wait. Mm -hmm. Wait. So to be perfectly frank, <laughs> we'll just lay this all on the table. When I started the channel, I'm about the same weight that I am now. Um, I was 270 when I started my weight loss journey four years ago, four years. maybe. And I got down to 230 and I stayed there for a while. And then I got to 180, which was the goal. And that was a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. But COVID being COVID and me being me, I've gained pretty much all the back, all 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. So I got down to about 180. So we're, that's your goal? My goal is 180. To 180. Okay. So I got on the scale and I was 231. And I'm okay. like, uh, you loser. And then I got over it because it's just. Effective. Like when you started last week. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Uh, when I was like, okay. okay, we'll start. Let's start with accountability. Let's see where we're at. Yeah. And I, after I wept in the shower, um, tried back again this week and my efforts were to eat better. Uh, less food, period. Mm -hmm. Like, I cut my desserts down to 500 calories, mm -hmm. pretty much. So it's all junk, but it's portioned there. Yeah, portion control it um, really helps for me, too. Real food I do better with. I try to focus on eating more protein and more fiber mm -hmm. when I'm trying to lose weight. So I feel full, and because I, I'm a big fiber junkie, I need it to keep myself regular. Mm -hmm. So uh, I try to focus on those if regular. I can. Regular. <laughs> I don't know what the face for irregular is. <laughs> it's probably something a little less pleasant. <laughs> uh, so to keep that moving. Realistically, last time I lost weight, it was about six pounds a month. Mm -hmm. It came off. And that was without doing anything drastic. Because I could snap back into an eating disorder in a heartbeat. Yeah. Like, I can lose 50 pounds in two months. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah. But, you know, you'll be all at my funeral. <laughs> so yeah. going slowly, making smarter decisions, being patient, which is the hard part with weight loss. You either have to be patient and be healthy, or you have to trade off the fact that you might, you know, yeah. have a heart attack to lose 50 pounds in two right. months. So we're still moving good. along. Well, that's good. That. Well, I mean, you lost. So I lost. I, I lost mean, like that's good. I lost three pounds. I'm in three, the two twenties. You lost three. I'm in the two twenties. We're both. In, we both lost two. Pounds. So the next goal for me is two. He's in the two twenties. So I'll be going tens, zeros. Uh -huh. It'll be a while. Well, no, I would say that's good. That's a success. That that's good. You know, like yeah. we started this whole thing off with um, 
you like harm reduction and like you said like titration replacing and, and the bad with the with better, the better is what i'm doing with my diet to, to reach an ultimate goal you know taking small steps and it it, it has helped um so i know it's only week one but it's a start if i didn't lose anything week one whether i tried or not i'd be like oh screw this screw it screw it like the- and a lot of it is about you know uh, 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 reforming new habits, you know, mm-hmm. and I, what do they say? It takes three days. What is the, like the, t- t- I don't know. The 12 steppers always say what? 28. That's where that myth of 28 days to break a habit. Comes oh, from. 28 days. Ooh, that's a long time to start. <laughs> well, they talk <laughs> about in treatment. They say 28 days to break a new habit. To break insurance and, companies came and, up and with that. Start <laughs> a new more positive habit for yeah. it to take. You know how like it's hard the first couple days to do anything and then somehow it's easier. It starts to that's what I meant. Yeah. Making that's the same thing habit. with like mood charts or any of this yeah. other stuff. It's so any awkward because it's use. not a part of the schedule. Yeah. Trust me, I leave it by my smokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just Yeah. And I've been using my vision board, y'all. I got some nice pictures from everybody too. We're going to be sharing those next week. Of they, some people made some really cool yeah. vision boards. Cool. They did. So we'll be sharing those next week. And um, is that it? I think we have a giveaway winner to announce. I was seeing if you forgot. Uh-uh, I, I was, almost forgot. I was going to be the one who remembered things this one. I was waiting until you were done. You know, I didn't want to like impede on you or sure. anything. I didn't. So you want to explain <laughs> what the giveaway was and who it's for and what it is? Absolutely. Oh, okay, so last stuff. Mondays with Mark, we had a little Valentine's Day giveaway. Uh, there it is, y'all. <laughs> and um, to enter, all you had to do was comment below the video. And Stephen has the video pulled up, and he's going to use the YouTube random comment picker mm-hmm. to choose the winner. In the box, um, the, the main thing in the box was this 14-piece crystal gift box. There's 14 crystals in here behind each one of these doors. But in addition to that, you know, there's like, there's some... There's so- self-care stuff. You know, socks. We have a Good Vibes Only t-shirt, a candle, some bath salts, all kinds of stuff like that. It's a really cool prize. So, stuff to get um, you centered. Yeah, to get you centered and to kind of celebrate Valentine's Day a little bit, you know? Yeah. So, why not? Everybody can celebrate. We extended the 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 entry period. We'll be all proper. Uh, by two days, because we were going to pick it the next day, and I'm like, well, it doesn't have to be that quick, you know? Yeah. So, um, so anyway, whoever wins, get me your address ASAP, because I'll get it right out in the mail, so you can get it in time for Valentine's Day, okay? All right. All right, sure. You all ready to go? Yep. Oh, there I am. So, we go to YouTube, copy the URL from the video on YouTube to YouTube Random Comment Picker. Oh, look how many. Uh, 62, 62 unique, unique comments. comments. And we pick a winner. And we pick. And they dun, spin. Dun, 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 dun. Good luck, everybody. And the winner is Nene. Nene! Nene! Congratulations. Congratulations to you. You love this video so much and crystals, too. Well, congratulations. Very. Oh, is that the comment? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hubby daughter and I are stuck in bed fighting COVID. Aww. Thanks for helping me survive by entertaining me with great ideas. Well, maybe the crystals will help. People have had dumber our ideas. pleasure. And <laughs> yes, you can, you can, everything in here will make you feel so much better. It really, not really will. Works, <laughs> so, okay, Nene, get me your, well, I guess your, your name, name. and uh, your address. You can email us. Um, that's all listed below. Uh, you can send me a message on Facebook or over on Instagram, wherever. Just get me, um, just get me your information, and I will get that out in the mail for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank you for everyone who entered. We'll be having more giveaways. You know us. We're we gonna, will. Yeah, I, I like giveaways. <laughs> I do too. They're fun. They are fun. Yeah, they're fun. Well, I would say that's a high note. I would say it's a high note too. Yeah. We're all well fed and sane and, and kind of on track. You know. With yeah. The, with the Let's not go hunting for problems on a Friday. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, we are not. We're gravy. Yes. Gucci. Whatever mm-hmm. the kids say. <laughs> okay. well, thank kids you all for today. watching. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get alerts when we have new videos and go live. You can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, email, uh, our P.O. box. All that stuff is listed below as mm-hmm. well. Thank yeah. you again. And I will catch up with you all tomorrow for One Miss Foodie Beauty. Oh my gosh. Is it that time already? It is. I can't believe it's. it feels like it's just... 
It was just here. I know. I doubt anything different has happened, but we'll Probably see. Probably not. I haven't been following this week. I just, I needed a break from it, really. I did. Yeah. But anyway. And then we'll be live on Sunday at 6 o'clock for our weekly live stream. Please join us. Mm -hmm. And then I'll see you back here for Mondays with Mark uh, on Monday. So that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yep. So we Remember, can... everybody, stay safe, stay warm, but above all else, stay positive, okay? We'll see you next time. Bye. Ciao. Uh -huh.